Welcome to Omics Box, bioinformatics made easy. Hello, my name is Fabian Jetzinger and I'm a PhD student studying long read transcriptomics here at Biova. Today, I would like to show you how to perform long read based isoform identification and quantification using isoquant in Omics Box. Now, why would you want to perform long read based isoform identification? Well, one of the advantages that long reads have over short reads is that they capture a more wholesome view of your transcripts. So you can make the assumption that each read represents one molecule, one transcript in its entirety. Now, this is of course not entirely true because of a variety of reasons, which is why we need algorithms to help us differentiate artifacts from real biological variation. Secondly, reference transcriptome annotations are not complete, particularly for non-model organisms. Defining our own transcript models will allow us to characterize our data in more detail. And lastly, it also allows us to identify sample or tissue-specific isoforms. Now, choosing the right algorithm for isoform identification, based on the nature of our data as well as the goals of our analysis, is crucial to any downstream tasks. If you would like to read up on this topic, I recommend reading about the LRGASP challenges, which are linked down in the description. Now, why would you want to choose isoquant? Well, one of the reasons may be because it can be used to achieve different tasks. In this demonstration, we will use isoquant in Omicsbox in three different ways. Firstly, we will perform a reference-guided identification of novel isoforms. Secondly, we will use isoquant's discovery mode to perform reference-free discovery of isoforms. And thirdly, we will perform quantification of reference as well as novel isoforms. In our demonstration today, we will be using PacBio long reads of four samples belonging to two male brown bears from the Washington State University Bear Research, Education and Conservation Center. These samples represent adipose tissue in active and hibernation phases. For demonstration purposes, I have extracted a subset of the reads. So now we can finally move on to Omicsbox. Now that we are in Omicsbox, we can open the transcriptomics module, go under long read analysis and transcript identification, where we can select identification and quantification with isoquant. Now here I can select my input files in FASTA or Q or BAM format. Since I have already previously used Minimap2 to align my reads to a reference genome, I can directly use myaligned.bum files. Isoquant in any mode relies on the use of a reference genome, which I have supplied in FASTA format here. On the next page of the wizard, we can decide whether we want to use a reference annotation as guidance, or whether we want to use Isoquant in the reference-free discovery mode. Now, to start off with, I will run Isoquant in the reference-guided mode and supply a database file here. You could also provide a usual GTF file here, but isoquant internally uses a GFF utils database, and by directly supplying this database format here, we can save some time as well as computational resources. On the next page, we can specify the algorithm options. I have already selected our data type, PacBio full length reads, which automatically adjusts all of the other settings to fitting defaults. If you are ever unsure about any of the options in the wizard, you can always click the question mark icons for more information or consult the Omicsbox user manual. On the final page of the wizard, we can select our output options. First of all, we can set a fitting prefix to easily identify our outputs by. We can choose to save the transcript model annotations as defined by isoquant, as well as the quantification tables. We can choose to save reference-based quantification on both the gene and transcript level, as well as the transcript level quantification based on the isoforms as identified by isoquant while the first two options will include only those genes and isoforms already present in the provided reference, the latter option will include any discovered novel transcripts as well. Now we are ready to run isoquant, but since I have already done so previously, I can skip ahead to my results. First of all, we obtain a report with some information about our run, as well as some basic statistics. Secondly, we have also received a GDF file containing the isoforms as identified by isoquant. Thirdly, we also receive a nice customizable plot showing the lengths of the identified isoforms. Then, we also receive the selected quantification outputs. We have the reference-based gene as well as transcript-level quantifications, as well as the transcript-level quantification based on the isoforms identified by isoquant. All of these quantification files are separated by sample into four columns. Now, from this point, you could continue by either running scanty 3 within Omicsbox to perform quality control on our newly defined transcriptome and further refine it, or we can perform differential expression analysis based on our quantification results. Now, after once again closing these results, we can run isoquant again for a different use case. 
Now, imagine that we may not have a good quality reference annotation for our species available. In this case, we can make use of Isoquant's so-called discovery mode and run without a reference annotation. On the first page, I will use the same settings. Note that we still require a reference genome. On the second page, I will select that this time we do not want to use a reference annotation. We will leave the same algorithm options. And on the last page, for the outputs, we'll provide a different prefix as well as a different location for our results. Now, you can also see that, of course, the reference-based quantification outputs have been disabled. Once again, we are ready to run isoquant, although I have previously done so and can skip ahead to my results. Again, we obtain a report with our input options as well as some basic statistics. We also receive a GTF with our newly identified transcript annotations, as well as a plot showing the isoform lengths. Lastly, we also receive a quantification table based on these transcripts. And once more, after closing down these results, we can show yet another use case for isoquant in Omicsworks. Now, say that I have already used a different algorithm to define a transcript tone. In my case, I have previously run Flare, also through Omicsbox, and then further refined the transcript tone using the Scanty Free Quality Control, Filter, and Rescue modules. Now, I would like to use Isoquant to quantify my reads based on this new, refined transcript tone. I'm not interested, however, in having Isoquant discover any novel isoforms. In this case, I will leave the input options the same, but as a reference annotation, I will now select the GTF file of my previously refined transcript tone. Now, skipping ahead to the output options, we will once again provide a different prefix, but since, like I said, we are not interested in novel isoforms as defined by isoquant, we will disable the output options of the transcript annotations as well as the transcript counts, so we will only leave the reference quantification options enabled. Now, what this actually does is that it lets Omicsbox know that we can skip the isoform identification step of isoquant and only perform the reference-based quantification. This lets us save some time as well as computational resources. Once again, we are ready to start isoquant, and I can skip ahead to my results. Now, you can see that we have once again, uh, again obtained a report with our input options as well as some basic statistics, and we have obtained our quantification tables now based on the provided transcript tone. I hope this is, that this demonstration has been helpful to you. So, as we have just seen in our demonstration, we have used isoquant in different ways. We have identified isoforms and subsequently quantified them both with and without the use of a reference transcript tone. We have also quantified genes and isoforms based on an existing transcript tone. Now, where can we move on from here? We could further analyze and refine our transcript tone using scanty free quality control, filter, and rescue in Omicsbox. We can also move on with our quantification data to perform a differential expression analysis. Now, if you're interested in reading more on the subject of isoquant in Omicsbox, we have a blog post on our website, as well as an example dataset that you can play around with. Thank you for watching. Learn more about Omicsbox with our other videos.